I hope you have an amazing night so far. It is nighttime where I am in Australia. Today we are taking a look at some of the new recently announced news from Guild Wars about War Claws. I'm very excited to get into this one. So let's go straight into it. This is the first of the two pieces of news that I'm going to be covering in this video and the next video. So let's start with the War Claw. Let's hop over there now. So this blog post is called Janthia Wilds Unleashed the Enhanced War Claw Mount. This is some interesting stuff because the War Claw is being repurposed in a, in a way. It's being entered into PvE, player versus environment. So last week we laid out the basic premise of the story in Guild Wars 2 Janthia Wilds. We all remember that video where I freaked out about the spoilers, including an introduction to the Lowland Coden who live in Jan the Janthia Isles. This week, we thought we'd take a closer look at the area you'll be exploring, plus another fuzzy denizen of the Janthia region, the Warclaw, which the Lowland Coden call Journeykin. I much prefer the name Journeykin. That's a way cooler name than the Warclaw. You kidding me? Warclaw is just too battle ready, and it makes sense why that name was given to it, because it was for battle, it was for PvP. But renaming it the Journeykin, I'm going to call it that every time. I'm going to try to call it that every time. Oh, it's a baby. Do we get to grow one of our own? Interesting, interesting. Arriving at the Lowland Shore. Blog was originally published with an earlier draft of this section. It's been updated as of July 18th. Okay. What does that mean? Did they rewrite this area? This bit? Okay. Anyway, I don't know what that means. So your first steps into Janthir will take place in the Lowland Shore map. Home of the Lowland Coden. Great name. Here you will be given the chance to immerse yourself amongst them and... <sighs> there we go with the yawning again. What is it with me reading and yawning? Anyway, you get to immerse yourself amongst them to get a glimpse of their are into their culture by assisting i almost read that as assassinating in daily tasks engaging in sporting competition and dealing with localized threats during your time here you will also learn of their relationship with your soon-to-be mount the war claw which they called the journeykin these journeykin play a pivotal role for the coden of lowland shore as they are instrumental in their ability to traverse the terrains of Janthir as well as be the work Waclaw. Work Waclaw? Why would they write it like that? Waclaw of the Coden to assist in the needs of utility and contest. Okay, interesting. We've also heard your feedback around our more recent maps over the years being meta heavy. So for Lowland Shore, we decided to not include a meta. Instead, we've aimed to create a map with a sense of time pressure or urgency where players can focus on exploration, discovery, and world immersion similar to core Tyria maps with inspiration from more recent places like Grothmar Valley and Seitung Province. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking the sound of that. That is what I want to see and hear. They have been very meta heavy. I noticed that. I never said anything, but I noticed it. So yeah, that sounds that sounds really great. But I'm wondering what it means. Oh, without. I read that with with. Without a sense of time pressure or urgency. Yeah, that's really what I I mean, I kind of want all the maps to be like that. We haven't really had any really like great exploration discovery and world immersion areas not really grothmire was interesting and decent and i loved being there for the the lack of pressure of everything but it was just it wasn't it, it wasn't quite enough it was missing a lot of stuff like the reason for exploring what is the reason for that what can you get what could you get what's possible that's my take anyway so there are these geysers. It's obviously going to be some sort of mastery, right? Climb up there with your war claw and jump in it or something like that. Surely it's not just there for show, is it? This is very, this is a very pretty map. And I'm assuming that is your homestead or something like that. Looks like it. Into Janthir Sentry. 
As you push deeper into the wilds, you'll encounter more reminders of the region's dangerous reputation. Deep forests transition into sulfurous swamps. Ah, I hate that. They give way to volcanic terrain. Well, I would love it if all the maps didn't have metas. Please. It's not going to happen, but I wish. Ruins left by the ravages of time and a bloodstone crater. Ooh, people theorized that was related. Speak of the white mantle occupation in the time of the original Guild Wars. <laughs> There's like the, the R, the, like the trademark, whatever that. The barrier between this world and the mists has grown thin in Janther's century, resulting in magical storms. Oh, well, mists, mist tides that sweep the area and strange creatures known to scholars of Tyria's past as Titans have begun appearing in greater numbers. Right, so it's all but confirmed that Titans, it's all and confirmed. Titans are definitely in here. All right, so you got these things called magical storms called mist, mists, tides. That's very interesting, this whole thing. The mist has grown thin in Janthian century. This world in the mist, wait, the barrier between, okay, let's see what they're saying. Yeah, I got to go back a little bit in the sentence. What is wrong with me? Getting too ahead of myself. Right, so it's closer to kind of mixing. It's like Hallow's Eve, but constantly. It's like Halloween Town, but forever. And Strange Creatures, the Titans, they're in here. Very nice, interesting looking maps. While in Janthir, oh, sorry, War Closet in the Wilds. Fun, fun subtitle. Fun subheading. While in Janthir, you'll have the opportunity to forge a bond with a Warclaw mount and train a new mastery line that grants your Warclaw new skills in PvE maps. So are they all new? All new skills in PvE, I'm assuming. The Warclaw is a highly mobile mount that can navigate with precision and agility over all kinds of terrain. Also, boasts some unique combat and exploration abilities. Interesting. Chainful deals damage and pulls enemies closer. Battle Maul commands the Warclaw to leap forward and perform an area attack, stunning enemies at the center of the attack. Sniff enhances nearby alleys while detecting nearby enemies. With mastery training, Sniff also detects nearby treasure, which your Warclaw can help you dig up. Oh, very fun. I like that. Lance throws a spear to deal damage and knock down an enemy. Of course, you have to have a spear skill in there. This expansion is all about spears. And here are the Warclaw's mastery tiers. Oh, wow, they're really not keeping it. They're really not hiding anything anymore for us. Nine lives. Take no fall damage while mounted on your war claw. Oh, interesting. None at all. The base war claw already has decreased fall damage. Does that mean it's even more decreased from like the, that one mastery that decreases the fall damage that we already got from the Springer? I think it was. Feline reflexes. Extend your jump by hitting the space bar again in midair you get to double jump kind of extend your jump somehow like goes further i guess i don't know how that works wild claws the war claw performs a hit on enemies when dodging through them performs a hit on enemies when dodging through them okay hitting at least one foe gives you endurance at the end of the dodge oh interesting you dodge you can dodge well obviously you can dodge with all the the mounts in some way i think but dodging while hitting is very interesting it's becoming, this game is just leveling up in, it, in its level of dynamics. Feral Fury increases damage while mounted on the War Claw. The Lance skill now stuns enemies and deals increased Defiance Bar damage. Ooh. Well Rested increases the endurance for generation for all mounts. Ho ho. Ho. Whoa. Very, very good. What if this world changes? When designing the Warclaw for PvE, we saw some opportunities to improve how the Warclaw works in World Wizards World. This refresh of the Warclaw experience comes from our evolving understanding of the mount, our mount system since we first implemented mounts. Whether you're taking over or defending your territory, the Warclaw will continue to be your steadfast companion with these updated skills. Chainpull added a new effect, Weakened Frame, which applies damage, amplifies damage inflicted on gates and walls. This will stack with structural vulnerability. Okay. Huh. That's good. Okay. Sniff. In addition to its abilities, it will also highlight damaged gates and walls for both allied and enemy structures when you're in range. Oh, nice. Lance. Increase the two charges. Huh. Cool. 
um that is just the basic stuff right so that's very interesting stuff i'm really looking forward to this yeah this looks really good I'm looking forward to trying out the feline reflexes i'm looking forward to finding out what it can actually do in terms of its traversal abilities it can navigate with precision agility apparently over all kinds of terrain so i want to see what its actual thing it can do right is it just those abilities there is that it i guess it would be right Seems seems interesting though. No way to tell. I'm looking forward to getting in there and trying it out. Well, that has been the Wilds Unleashed, the Enhanced Warclaw Mount blog post. And in my next video, which you'll be able to see right up there, and you'll see it at the end probably, is the return of the rating and convergences. So I'll see you in that video. Bye.